Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix not launching Forza Horizon 4. It's, and it's, it's very annoying. I completely understand you. I come understand that it's a frustrating problem um, when you're just trying to play the game, play the game with your friends, you know, but you have this problem. Now you have to look for ways to fix this problem instead of just playing the game so it's time consuming so let's jump right into the video so i hope it's gonna help you i hope because it's gonna save you time and um now without further ado because i i care about your time let's jump right into the video so um the first thing that you have to first thing that you have to do and disclaimer, I'm just gonna share with you what worked for me and I hope it's gonna work for you as well. So I, just, I had this problem myself and I tried uh, this method I'm going to show you. And yeah, as I said, I'm just, I'm sharing, I share with you what I've learned and what worked for me. So yeah, that's the, this is what I've, uh, what I've done to fix the problem. I just went to first to this website and make sure you install direct X end user runtime. I know um, this is a very common thing for lots of games. If you don't have this, if you don't have installed on your computer direct X end user runtime web installer, you won't be able to run the game properly and probably it will crash and it will not launch. And uh, so make sure you click on here on the download button, install this, and then what you have to do is to head over to the next link. I'll leave the links in the description of this video. And you have to install Microsoft Visual C++. And you need to do this because otherwise the game won't work. So you have, you have to install this on your computer, on your laptop. So make sure you click on here, install this file. It's very easy. And uh, so here, make sure you click on the download button. Okay, thank you for downloading and then wait for the installation to complete, click on open file. It's a very, you need this, you need direct user to run a game. I didn't know at first and it caused a lot of headaches, a lot of uh, frustration, because every time I was trying to install um, a game, I had problems with, with crashing, okay? I. The game crashed every time. Here, install Bing Bar. You can install it if you want, but I'm not gonna do it. Next, installing comp components. So yeah, as I said, is uh, is kind of annoying because this uh, a lot of people are saying it's only there's not like only one method that's going to solve your problem. Usually, there's a couple of methods that are going to fix the problem. Um, because if there's something that you don't have on a computer and, and it's in the in this instance we don't you don't have direct x then uh, even if you try other methods won't work so usually there are other methods combined and other things that you have to do in order to fix the game so make sure you're doing that and um, then after installing direct x let's click on next We have to install Microsoft Visual C, uh, C++, and click on this link. Okay. It's gonna take only a couple of seconds to install. The file is pretty, pretty small. Not gonna take a long time. Open file. Run. Okay, we can uh, close this and the other one and click on agree with the license terms and click on install. This uh, Windows apparently is not responding. Okay, now it's working, downloading. It's gonna take only a few minutes and uh, this, the other file as well is there aren't very there aren't like large files so don't worry 
But now let me tell you now about if you're an Intel user, make sure you click on this download and this will just uh, will just help you to install the latest drivers. Click on download here. Now for NVIDIA users, you should click on the download button here. This is gonna help you install the latest drivers for your computer, for your laptop. So it's a like really handy tool. You don't have to install to look what your drivers you have on your computer and what are the drivers that you don't have or drivers that are not that aren't up to date. So yeah, this tool is very awesome and really useful. So make make sure you click on the download button. And then uh, for AMD user, you click on the uh, download here, and this tool is gonna help you to install the latest drivers as well if you have uh, AMD. Uh, CPU so yeah make sure you're doing that and this is pretty much what worked for me guys and I hope it's gonna work for you as well let's accept this yes okay it's almost done this one as well we have GeForce experience here because I have a GeForce card, um, graphic card, you know, and I can use this GeForce experience. It's pretty good, actually. I'm gonna show you on my computer. I'm just using um, a virtual machine, and from here you can simply, after you install the GeForce experience. You can click on download, click on check for updates. And here you should see um, exactly the way it looks uh, like here. Exactly, you should see this, you should see available. And right below you should see this driver that is available for you to download and install. So yeah, it's pretty easy, but it's a very good tool. Because it's gonna help you install the latest drivers. So yeah, that's what you have to do guys. I hope this video helped you. I really hope. Please let me know in the comment section if this uh, worked for you. Probably I'll look for other ways to fix or I'll par probably I'll create a part two if I see a lot of problems that say that didn't work for them. I want to help you fix this problem. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. I really appreciate it. I really love I really like creating tutorials. So thank you for watching and take care.